Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Justin. Uh, so just an update on the C10. I did start working on uh, the C10 fuel cell kind of thing, mounting it up. Got the old rails cut off and stuff like that. As you can see this little picture right here. Uh, but So I was going to work on it today, but then it started raining. So decided to make another YouTube video. Uh, just going to talk about cheap modifications for the Chevy Colorado for less than 100 bucks. Okay, so this is my Chevy Colorado. Got a, quite a few modifications on it, but we'll dive right into the first one being less than $100. So this one's pretty straightforward. You can do this with any vehicle for less than 100 bucks is Plasti Dip. So I Plasti Dip right there. It used to be chrome, as you can see in the last video. And also you can do the bow tie and stuff like that. You can do the grill. And if you want to, you can do the wheels, a little bit more work for the wheels. I kind of like the gunmetal gray, but... Huh. Another mod that kind of changes the appearance of the Chevy Colorado is just the getting an exhaust tip. I also have a Black Widow muffler, but this is a Jones exhaust tip. I'll have a link for it in the description, but... These you can get for less than $100, so nice and cheap, but in stools. It looks better when it's cleaned up, but... <laughs> there we go. Uh, same with the Plasti Dip, uh, you can actually Plasti Dip your emblems and stuff like that with the Plasti Dip. I actually went forward and bought the Redline Edition ones. Uh, they pop a little bit more when the truck is cleaner, just that red on the white and the black. I think it looks way better. Kind of going with the theme I got of this truck, slowly blacking it out. And yeah, still saving up for that new grill. I'm thinking when I get the Chevy let re lettering in it, I'm going to want to put like the, the red, just to match with the red on the red line there. Okay, another thing for less than 100 bucks you can do is bed line your box. I got the kit for I think 60 bucks. It's a little bit dirty right now just because I was holding drywall and stuff like that. But yeah, do it yourself. Save yourself a few hundred bucks, but if you like the professional look, you can do it yourself. Doesn't take long, I got another video of how I did it and stuff, but I think I'll have to go with another coat on it and stuff like that, so. Uh, lots of people have really expensive fog lights. I went with the cheapest option possible. I, what I did is I got some LED bulbs and then I tinted the fog light with some yellow amber tint. Uh, definitely gives it that unique look, especially when you stand far away from it. With the black plasti dip and the yellow looks pretty good. And yeah, for a portion of the cost, for what the expensive ones are, I think it looks not bad. If you guys want, I can uh, show you with the lights on. I'll turn off the lights in the garage here and turn the lights on. Hey, as you can see, very yellow in here. <laughs> Definitely way brighter than stocks. Stuff like that. There we go. So well, you can go and instead of buying like more expensive headlights, you can get different LED bulbs for there, but very yellow lights up the trails and stuff. Alright, there we go. Yeah, lighting as well, you can also get the Rough Country 30 inch single row LED bulb brackets and light in there kind of thing. I kind of like these little bar things, but it's up to you, personal preference. I personally, one of the reason I'm not getting it is because I do want the AEV bumper if I can ever afford it. It's three grand, it's a little expensive, but <laughs> what can I do? You can also find a pretty cheap uh, third brake light right there for less than a hundred bucks. Um, I kind of, I don't know, I've read reviews online and stuff like that. Uh, I heard they leak. And stuff so you might have to use lots of silicone and stuff and then because it'll be blacked out the taillights are a little bit more expensive they cost anywhere from like 300 or 400 and 500 bucks so you might have to get some black spray tint and tint those yourself just to match with the third brake light and as well as i'm looking over here you can also get a stubby antenna this one's a little bit long especially if you got a lift you might not be able to clear the garage so that's another modification you can do for less than 100 bucks from what, what I read, it doesn't affect the signal for your radio and stuff like that, so no read out here. That's one of the things I want to get actually too, but right now I don't got a lift, so I'd 
not too worried about it right now. So well, with uh, covering things up, you can get vinyl wrap to do the bow ties, grill, that. You can also get different vinyl uh, striping or any decals that you want as well. My goal is to have, I think it'd be cool to have all the performance parts I got on it, little decals, but phone width wide, kind of all along this bottom. That's kind of my goal. My, I gave my fiance a uh, or something like that, what it's called. So she'll be able to make some. That's what we're going to, once she gets good at it, I'm going to see if she wants to make me some of those. <laughs> and also, you can also find some ditch lights that go right here. You find some universal ones from Amazon. You might be able to find some uh, cheaper ones specifically made for this vehicle, but. Yeah, and then if you're wanting to lift things up, you can actually find some spaces for your suspension. Uh, just on Amazon for less than a hundred bucks, you can get like a little bit of a lift, kind of love a little truck out. I personally want to go with a full suspension, like shocks, upper control arms. And if I can't afford it, eventually Baja kit for this thing, just for the off-roading capabilities. But that's way, way more than a hundred bucks, so. And as well, just keeping your truck clean and giving it a good waxing is way beneficial as well. But uh, yeah, so tomorrow I'm be heading out to the farm to work on the C10 again. Hopefully it's not raining. I forecast it is not, but yeah, so hopefully I can get that fuel cell all mocked up and figured out and hopefully run some fuel lines. Just tape them off until I get them get, can get the LS into the truck. So yeah, if you guys do like this uh, video and want to see more Chevy Colorado videos, just smash that like button and leave some comments. Uh, like I said before, I like communicating with you guys. Definitely makes my day. Alrighty, have yourself a good one. Bye now.